What's going on? Um, I am out here in Pincho State Forest. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I got my backpack on. I got you mounted to a bike. I'm gonna bike around on the uh, forest roads here. I know enough campsites I can find somewhere to camp. And uh, it's gonna have a little bit different adventure. So uh, let's get going. All right, so I'm about a mile and a half in. I did not count for the fact I'm carrying like 35 pounds on my back. <laughs> this is not how bike packing is supposed to go. You should have some bags on this and uh, be carrying the weight on the bike, not on me. But I just wanted to get out. So this is a new bike to me. I did a video on this last week, but the, it didn't render right. So maybe I'll put some of those clips in if I get in the render. But just a quick test on the rail trail, did about eight miles. This is a, uh, this came from Adam Z. Uh, this is his old bike. He asked me if I, uh, if I needed a bike or wanted a bike. And uh, I didn't really think he was gonna give it to me. <laughs> he showed up at my house last week ago, here's the bike. Um, so thanks Adam, I can get some use out of it. I mean, I can do all biking stuff, but uh, it's different, something different. It's good for something different. Um, it is a Diamondback Sorrento. It's uh, got some wear and tear, but all in all, it's in really good shape. Everything works well. It's, uh, it's used, but as you can see, it's in really good shape. A um, couple little dings on it, but I mean, it's a bike. I, I'm not picky, so not an e-bike. It's all human powered. I got the GoPro mounted on there. It's got really nice uh, Shimano shifters. My old mongoose had these. Uh, they're really nice, so I'm used to those. And uh, front suspension. No suspension in the back, but that's all right. Other than that, uh, pretty straightforward. It's a, it's a nice bike. So, um, like I said, I'm out here in Pinchot. I have an idea, a couple places where I can camp. It is important to note that the Pinchot Trail itself, for the most part, is not bike friendly, not mountain bike friendly. So you're not allowed to mountain bike on it. There are a couple spots where it joins up with some multi-use trails which i know i can bike on so i've got an idea somewhere i've been before that i know i can bike right up to and so we'll, we'll see maybe i'll head up there or somewhere else but i'm gonna get back on the bike here because i was not taking into account the fact that i've got my backpack on it's not really a way to be bike packing um make a couple adjustments get some water and i'll continue on
hiking sheep and biking sheep, two different things. <laughs> There's no really easy way to get to the campsite I want to get to, like as far as climbs go. I thought this might be a little flatter, which it might be, but it's just a longer way. My legs are burning. Third time I've had to stop. Get sticks out of my set here. I've never seen a bike that collects so many sticks. One's stuck in there still. There we go. They're all getting stuck back in here. Hmm. Wonder something I can do about that. Not, not today, but so. all right. Well, I'm about, I don't know, halfway up my climb to where I need to go, and uh, back wearing a backpack is not the way to do this. Uh, on the flat and on the downhills, it's not bad, but climbing. I think the way I'm, I'm on the bike, uh, put a lot of strain on my shoulders. So uh, I got nothing to prove. I got to push the bike the rest of the way up the hill. That's all I'll do. Uh, this, uh, I'm just testing, so I got, uh, I'd rather make it up there and be able to breathe. Uh, it's just a weird, I think leaning forward, and I'm in the lowest gear pedaling up the hill. Very weird sensation on my shoulders. Um, just don't like it. So uh, I've learned to listen to my body when things like that are happening. So you got to stop a little bit, take a little bit of a break, and then uh, I'll, like I said, if i got to push the bike up, I'll push the bike up. Not not concerned about it. Um, definitely want to look into a rack or something like that if I'm going to do this in the future with the bike. Uh, also, I've got, I don't have any dehydrated food with me. I stopped and got a hoagie and like a iced tea and a iced coffee for tomorrow. And I got some heavy food with me, so uh, that's not helping. And I got lots of water. But, yeah, I mean, it's only, I don't know what time is it, 5 o'clock? Not even 4:30, so I got plenty of time. I did just pass a guy though, out here with his uh, with his daughter taking her on her first backpacking trip, which is awesome to see. Uh, they're doing the South Loop, so I hope they enjoy it. They're trying to make it over to the falls, and uh, they should have plenty of time to do that. That's really good to see people out here with their kids, trying to getting them getting them trying to get them into backpacking. I need more water. Uh, get them into backpacking outdoors, so that's awesome, and a great trail to do it on too. All right, I'm gonna drink some more water and then I throw the pack back on and slowly make my way up to the top. Now, I'm pretty sure I can get my hammock in here. I think. Let's find out. On top of Stone Tower. I've camped here before. And uh, this is the plan for tonight. So let me see if I can get this set up. I should be able to. Trees are pretty hardy here. And then uh, I'll bring you back. All right, well, I was able to get the hammock set up here. I got the strap around two limbs on that side. And then uh, this little embankment here allowed me to get pretty high up in that tree to get a good angle. So got in there, it's, uh, it's laying well. It'll be perfect. A little breezy up here right now, but that's supposed to die down as the night goes on. And uh, when I leave tomorrow, I will go down this way. So I came up over here 
and I don't know if you can make it out, but right over there is an orange blaze. The Pinchot Trail goes right along here, and then it runs into this road. This road kind of turns and it winds down, and it connects connects onto it, which is what I, I came up on the bike. Um, but then this road continues straight back down to the main forest road that I, I biked in on. So this is the way I'll leave tomorrow. The biking up this was not fun with the backpack. Uh, it just, it was putting a really weird strain on my shoulders and my chest. And I, I didn't, I didn't like it. It was really uncomfortable. I, uh, I got off for a couple minutes, uh, just kind of stretched my, my shoulders out, just kind of took a breath, drank some water, uh, got back on the bike and, and went maybe another five minutes and it, it started again. And I think it's just going up that incline, uh, in that low gear it got real muddy too uh kind of slippery so i i pushed it the rest of the way up there's one spot where it kind of goes down i got on i rode it there and it was flat uh but on on the steeper inclines i did push it up again i got nothing to prove i'm kind of testing this as a concept and just when you're wearing a backpack and you're hiking you're kind of standing upright on a bike you're kind of like this and i've got back issues anyway uh, so which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of testing it like this. Um, I'll have to get some kind of uh, rack system, like a like a gear rack in the back with the like this the side bags and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> if I want to do stuff like this, it's just a learning process. I've never bike packed before. This is a first for me to bring all my stuff in. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I packed the backpack like I was hiking. So that might be something that has to change too, if I'm going to do this uh, in other places. But for a test, it's working just fine. Hoping tonight might get some uh, meteor shower. You're supposed to be a meteor shower tonight. And we've had possibilities of northern lights for weeks now. Uh, I've missed them every time. It's been cloudy, so it's clear tonight, so we probably won't have any. <laughs> it's just kind of the luck of northeastern PA um, but whatever it's a nice campsite and uh, there's some firewood here if the wind dies down a little bit more maybe I'll start up a little bit of a fire I won't have anything big uh, I'm just going to relax just going to enjoy it I've seen a few people out looks like some people just enjoying the trails for day hikes uh, I saw that the guy and his daughter uh, backpacking, and I just had a guy, he must have come up from the Pincho Trail, and he was heading this way, and then he got here and realized that that's not where the trail is, and he kind of stopped, and I was laying in the hammock, and I, I didn't hear him walk up, and I kind of looked out, and I think I took him by surprise as much as he took me by surprise, um, but he, he looked like he was doing more than just a day hike. Good to see people out. I was kind of, um, I wasn't sure what to expect as far as people being out because of the weather we had yesterday. I know around the area there's a lot of roads that are closed because trees came down. I didn't even know if I could get in here today. Um, a lot of stuff down on the trails, like small branches. And on the forest roads, there's some spots where you can see where trees had come down, they cut them. And on the one road coming in, same thing. Uh, definitely trees were down. At least yesterday, last night, the remnants of that uh, tropical storm Debbie came through. So, yeah, not sure how, how busy you'll be out here tonight. But uh, I'm just gonna I actually look at the footage. I think see how it's turning out. I haven't really checked the the GoPro footage from the bike. Uh, when I did the footage last week, I used the phone and I had it recording in 4K. And I, when I when I do that, um, I've been editing that on the phone, and I wanted to do like some time lapse because there was a lot of like from the bike footage. Um, I wanted to do some time lapse, so I uploaded it to the computer, and my computer doesn't do a really good job doing 4K, so I tried to down res it, and it just came out a blank white screen. So um, yeah, I, it turned out fine on the phone. I might re-edit it on the phone. 
or I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that if that footage will come out. Um, but yeah, I want to see how it turns out on here. I just have it mounted. Uh, so I have a real basic handlebar mount on here. This is just sitting right above, right above the tree here. So I don't know how much that's getting in the way. But I'll check it out. I'm gonna hang out in the hammock a little bit and uh, probably eat here in another hour or so. And there's all my food. I got a hoagie from Al's uh, Quick Mart. I got some uh, creamy dill pickle ridge potato chips. I got a um, gold leaf raspberry iced tea. That'll be my dinner. And then for breakfast, I have pop tart and iced coffee. Yeah, only with only doing five and a half miles to get here. And who knows what I'll do tomorrow. Maybe I'll uh, swing by the car and drop the backpack off and then bike around some more just to get that strain off my shoulders. It's a pretty straight shot uh, from here down to the main road is downhill. I, I was going to come up this way, but it's it's pretty consistent coming up. It's shorter, but more consistent. But I'll go down this, and then there might be one little uphill on that road. But it's real gradual, and then it's kind of downhill back to the car for the most part. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Drop the car, drop the bike, the backpack off, and then... Uh, no, figure something out. We'll see. We'll see what the weather's like in the morning. Big clump of clover. I don't see any four leaf. All right, so it's time to eat. I'm gonna try these dill, creamy dill pickle, rippled potato chips from hers. Let's see. Don't really taste like pickles. You're not bad. Don't taste like pickles. Aw. Alright. So got my bogey. And this is just from that little gas station in town on the way up here. From Al's Kitchen. Italian hoagie with uh, sweet peppers. And a fly. Some cut. Kind of cut, but not completely. Hmm. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. All right, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Hang out with this fly. Maybe take a nap for a little while. About 1 a.m. the uh, Perseids meteor shower should be visible. I think tomorrow is peak, but should see some shooting stars tonight. It looks like it's supposed to be pretty clear. So, I think that's the plan. Alright, so dinner was very good. <clears throat> I want to show you something I do. It's kind of a trick. When I'm doing... Um, Something like this where I'm not camping really far away. Don't have my bear canister with me. So what I've done is I've taken uh, the the paper wrapper and you can't really see it, but the, the bag for the potato chips. I've kind of wrapped those up and then put them inside the plastic wrapper for the hoagie. 
And then I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to put it inside the bottle. Then I'm going to close the bottle down. Now, it doesn't do much to stop the odor, but it does help a little bit. So I'm going to kind of make my own little mini bear canister here with the uh, with my raspberry iced tea bottle. All right, so dinner was very good. <clears throat> I want to show you something I do. It's kind of a trick when I'm doing um, something like this where I'm not camping really far away. I don't have my bear canister with me. So what I've done is I've taken uh, the the paper wrapper and you can't really see it, but the, the bag for the potato chips. I've kind of wrapped those up and then put them inside the plastic wrapper for the hoagie. And then I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to put it inside the bottle. Then I'm going to close the bottle down. Now, it doesn't do much to stop the odor, but it does help a little bit. So I'm going to kind of make my own little mini bear canister here with the uh, with my raspberry iced tea bottle. And there we go. That's as, as secure as I can get. Uh, a wrapper for a hoagie that is pretty stinky. Now up here I'm not too concerned and I throughout my uh, trip up here I didn't see any bear scat. Doesn't mean we won't doesn't mean that there can't possibly be a bear up here but um, there's really nothing up here. There's ferns and I don't think there's even blueberries up here so a bear would have to smell something and have no other options to come up here is it possible sure um but i think if anything right over the hill here about a half mile three quarters of a mile away is a little housing community and if i was a bear i'd be looking for garbage down there i wouldn't be coming up here so that's my logic and so we'll see Oh, Lord, it's uh, 8 30. I've been in the hammock for, for a little while. Um, see anything out there? I know there's some deer that were right across that road earlier. I don't know if maybe they've circled up around me here. I keep hearing something. <laughs> I keep hearing something out there. But I've looked, I don't see anything. So I don't know what it is. Uh, it could be... It, it, it could be anything. It could be a groundhog and I'm right next to a mound. Um, I wonder if maybe something was bedded down in here and it's starting to scurry around. I guess we'll find out. It does sound like anything big. Uh, but the TD digs are up. I'm going to sit here. Um, the moon is... I don't know if you can see it. It's over there somewhere. It might be behind the trees or anything. I'm going to chill out and... Uh, I'd take a nap and get up in a little while and see if I can see some meteors and some northern lights. If I, if I don't see any of those and I don't record them, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about 20 of 8. Uh, really nice night i don't know when it clouded up <coughs> this could just be fog high fog um because i know the humidity is up i felt like it got down closer to 50 last night that might just been because of humidity but uh it was really nice pretty clear most of the night um it got up at about 4 30 no, go about 3.30 till about 
and uh, laid here for a little bit, just looked at the stars, and then uh, I got up and walked out to the opening out there, and there's a uh, Jupiter and Mars were having a conjunction. They're really close, so that was pretty cool. Um, saw a meteor, a shooting star. No northern lights, but I didn't I didn't really expect to see those. It was possible, but we're pretty far south. Um, so it was cool. And I got back in the hammock, and I laid here, and I looked at the stars until I drifted back to sleep. And but I got to check the weather, because it, this does look like it wants to rain. It's not supposed to. So I'm going to do that real quick and make my plans. Alright, so I'm all packed down, and uh, I was watching a video last night, and all these bike mounted shots, they got like the, uh, the old 1960s Batman villain slant going on, it's just the way the bike's sitting, um, I'll try to edit that out a little bit, but if, if you see everything kind of crooked, that's why, um, so uh, everything's packed down, I picked up some garbage that was here, there's some uh, paracord hanging from a tree, I took that down, I uh, tried to leave the site a little bit better than I found it. And uh, I'm going to take the straight shot back to the car. Should be about two miles. And um, we'll go from there. That was a pretty good guess. It was 2.05 miles back to the car. A pretty good guess. Um, I'm all loaded up. Got the bike back there. Backpack. And I didn't call it a day. I didn't call it a trip. It was fun. I learned a lot. I got some things I need to adjust if I'm going to do more bike packing. Definitely get the weight off of me and put it on the bike. That was not fun yesterday. Today was pretty easy. It was mostly, mostly downhill. It's very slight uphill. But it was easy uphill. Yesterday was a lot of first gear, like low, low um, effort, but high speed pedaling and just the, the hunched over kind of pedaling and the way the back was, the backpack was pulling, man, not fun. So gonna have to change that. But that's gonna do it for this one. Something a little bit different, a little bit of a test of uh, using a bike and camping. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next.